right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, what I want to show you in this quick video is how to uh, manipulate the widgets and the sidebars and the templates of your um, WordPress site. Now, just a word of caution, uh, every template, every style, every theme, right, is different. So it will look different if you choose a different theme, okay? Um, if you play with different themes, you will see what I mean, okay? One of the things that I've noticed in this theme, which I believe is 2011, um, is that when I set my home page to my welcome page, my about me page, okay, the sidebar that was over here, okay, uh, went away, right? So what happened to that, okay? Um, well, I'll show you what happened to that. This is a feature or maybe a bug of this particular theme. Um, it has to do with the widgets and the way that the theme organizes the, um, the space on the page through the theme, okay? So I'm gonna go to the dashboard. And what I wanna show you is this section here in appearance called widgets, okay? If I go and take a look at this, um, this is what should be showing up on the page. In the main sidebar, I should be seeing recent posts and recent comments and meta. And then I should have stuff available in these other um, areas, which are, there's nothing in them. So, so except for this one, I did put a test thing in there. Let me just delete that real quick. Um, there's nothing in these defaulting um, as the, the default um, structure, right? But a, the default um, visual sort of rendering of the page should have a sidebar in it, okay? With recent posts, recent comments, and the meta, which is the login area, okay? Remember, if we go and take a look at our site now, it doesn't have that. There is no sidebar area here, it's gone. It's been erased because I've set my page to um, this welcome about me page, okay? So I wanna get that back. Um, but I, in order to do that, I need to tell you a little bit about what widgets are. So widgets are the um, um, little functional sort of nuggets, basically. Uh, little functions that you can put anywhere in the page within these organizational features. And each theme will have an organizational structure that is different, okay? Um, the theme that we're working in now, I think is, is a 2011, and it only has a main sidebar, a showcase sidebar, footer area one, two, and three, okay? So I'll, sh I'll show you what this means. Forget about the main sidebar for a minute. That's the one that disappeared, okay, when I reset the page. But let's say I wanna put some, just something in the, the footer area one so that you can see where it is. Footer one, footer one, okay? So I've put stuff, a little text box in footer area one, but I don't really know what that means. So let's go and take a look and I'll show you. Here is footer one. See how it's added this new section here, okay? I will imagine that this will be footer one. There's a space here for footer two and there'll be a space here for footer three, okay? So you can use this space down here to add any widgets that you like, okay? Um, if we go back to the widgets in the dashboard, um, you'll see what I mean, right? I'm gonna put a calendar in footer area two. I'm gonna call it calendar. And this calendar is a calendar of the posts that you make on your blog. We're not using this as a blog, but in case you do, you know, this is something to know about. Um, but I just wanna show you what this, what this is. Let's say I wanna put a different navigation menu or a different, uh, maybe I wanna put my recent posts or, um, a list of my site's pages over here in footer three. Okay. All right. Um, I can exclude things. You, you, you get the picture. Um, let's go and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay. So you, you see um, this is as we expected, footer one section over here, calendar in footer two, and list of all my pages in um, footer three. Okay. Um, so the point I'm trying to make is that the widgets allow you to add additional functionality in different spaces of your page, but the spaces that are available to you is set up by the theme, okay? And not all themes have the same layout. So if I go back to widgets, um, I'm gonna get rid of these just cause you know, I don't, I don't really um, need them to be here. So I'm going to delete them. 
you can't just drag them away. Um, that doesn't work. It just um, moves them around. Uh, so you have to actually delete them. Okay, but now we know what those footer one, two, and three areas do, okay? Um, the showcase sidebar, this is, uh, this is a reference to um, a sidebar for the optional showcase template. So what on earth does that mean, okay? Um, well, I'll show you what that means. Um, there is a template in this theme called showcase, and this is a way to provide your pages with additional templating features, okay? So if I go to my welcome page, um, and I'm just going to go to the quick edit. You can see all these things in the main edit page as well, but this is another way to do it. And you can do this in bulk too. I'll show you how that works. So here's my welcome page. I want to quickly edit this. There are a couple options. I can nest it if I want to, which I don't, set the order. Template. It's on the default template right now. If I shift it to the showcase template and update it and go back and take a look at the page, you will see what's happened. It has made my welcome page into sort of a little showcase and made it visible here at the top. Um, it goes away, right, when I move to my other pages, but when I go to my welcome page, it makes it visible without, um, you know, in this particular way, okay? So it uses a template to do this, okay? Um, notice that when I do that, my, my blog posts have returned, which I do not want, okay? So, um, so I'm not sure how I feel about this template situation, but it's kind of interesting. I like, I like what it does, but I'm, I'm not sure I want to use it yet. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard um, and I want to go to my pages and I'm going to change that. Um, but I want to get that sidebar thing back. So I don't know what was going on with that, um, but I notice here that in the templates, I have a sidebar template option as well. So I'm going to check that and see what happens. And this is the thing that you'll have to remember when you're setting up your WordPress site. It's important to just try things and see what they look like because this is how I found out how to get my sidebar back, okay? Um, so it has to do with the templating features in uh, this particular theme, this particular 2011 theme. Okay, um, so if I want to go and make sure that I have um, all of my, that sidebar back on all of my posts, right? Because you remember, if I, if I go and take a look at my writing page, now it's gone again. Ah, well, that's because um, this page doesn't have that template associated with it, okay? Whereas the welcome page does have this template associated with it. So if you want all of your pages to have this sidebar, then you're going to need to make sure that all of your pages are set to that template, okay? And this is how you do it. I'm gonna grab all of my pages that are available and I'm gonna do a bulk action and I'm gonna edit them all and I'm gonna apply it. So now it's showing me I'm doing something to all of these pages at the same time. I don't wanna change any of these things, um, but I do wanna change the template and I wanna change it to the sidebar template. So I'm gonna click update and now, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we already saw the welcome page has our little sidebar back, but I'm guessing that my resume page will also have the sidebar and all of my um, portfolio pages as well. Okay, so that's how you use um, templates. Now, um, if you uh, are using a different theme, you may have different, you may run into different problems. Okay. Um, and that's just something to, to kind of keep in mind, okay? But now that I have my, my sidebar back, maybe I want to go and um, customize the widgets that are in that main sidebar, since now I can, okay? Maybe I want to use my main sidebar to put a picture of me, a picture of um, the author of this blog, okay? And maybe I want to have it at the beginning, the top. So I'm going, I don't really need it. You can put a title in if you like, you don't need one. Um, I'm going to um, select an image. Now here's an image that I've already uploaded. To upload an image, you just obviously click Upload Files. You go and find your pictures. Um, and um, I don't really have much here, but here's a picture that I'm going to use, okay? Um, you can uh, set the display settings here. There are a few other things for you to do. Always try to put an alt text, which helps um, 
people who have um, access issues. Uh, so alt text is something that is uh, can be read by screen readers. So um, I might say, I might just give it a little bit of a description. Um, okay, um, and I'm gonna add the widget here. Okay, now you see what's happened. Um, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go and visit my site. And now here I have an image, okay? Um, this is a useful widget to add uh, because you can manipulate it in a lot of pretty simple, straightforward ways. You can put a picture of yourself there. Um, and then what you could do is maybe put your text, put some text over here. Maybe I wanna put that in front of the image and I want to, um, I can add pictures here as well. Um, welcome to my um, professional por por portfolio. So here's my text and you can see what this looks like if I go back and view my page. Okay, now I've got some general text here. I've got an image. I've still got my recent posts, which remember we're not using this as a blog, so I probably wanna get rid of that. Um, and here's a list of any of comments that people might have left, which I probably wanna get rid of too because I'm not really interested in using this as a blog. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to do that. Go back to the widget section. Recent posts, I just wanna del delete it, okay? Recent comments, I wanna delete it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, okay? You can also now put this text in your um, footer area. Maybe you want the image in footer area too, okay? Um, there are uh, a few other things that you can do. There are lots of little widgets here um, that you can add. Um, and you can play with those if you like. There's a little video here. Maybe you have a video introduction um, to yourself that you wanna add there. Uh, lots of things you can do, um, but let's see what it looks like now that I've changed it, okay? So we have the text down here in footer one. We've got the image in footer two. Notice that it's resized that image and I still have my meta login information up here, okay, in the main sidebar area. So you can play with that, okay? If you choose to have a picture in your welcome page, actually in the page itself, feel free to do it there. You don't need to do it here. Um, you could also turn uh, this little text into your welcome text. Um, you can play with that, right? There are lots of options, um, but the widgets portion of WordPress is one of the things that makes it a really powerful tool, okay? Uh, because you can customize it in a lot of different ways. Okay, Maybe I wanna put my login information only at the very end and, um, and see what that looks like. Okay, yeah. And notice that if you don't have footer one and two, but you do have footer three, it won't move it over here to this part of the page. It will, it will sort of orient everything towards the left-hand side of the screen. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, you can create additional menus and add them. Like remember what we did up here to make this menu work. Um, you could do all sorts of, of interesting things, but, um, but that's a basic introduction uh, to using widgets and working with the template features in this particular theme.